verse 22. Pakibasa po. Psalms 55:22 Praise the Lord cast thy burden upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved Praise the Lord <coughs> Itong burden uh, isa itong matatawag natin na weight na kinakarga natin that most of the people of this world commonly if you are carrying burden it is hard for you to reach the place lalot na malayo talagang mahihirapan ka so Ganon din sa ating buhay. Pag i-cast natin yung burden sa Panginoon, He will sustain us. Meaning to say, He can make us to reach the destination without giving up. Pag sinabing isusustain ka ng Diyos, He will let you reach the destination without giving up. Kumbaga pa, kahit meron tayong mga burdens na ating kinakarga sa ating shoulder, and yet, God will sustain us. Example, hindi may iwasan we use electricity, hindi may iwasan we use water, and there is bills for this monthly. Hindi lang natin napapansin, tumatanda na lang tayo, until now. We have these opportunities because we were able to pay the years na dumaan na sa buhay natin, hindi tayo naputulan ng kuryente because bills are burden, obligation, liability. But how God sustain us to continue this, this privilege Example lang yan sa material. Praise the Lord. <coughs> Hindi pa dyan na uh, may mention yung food. Hindi pa na may mention dyan yung clothing. Hindi pa na may mention yan yung maintenance ng mga gamit natin. Hindi pa na may mention dyan yung ating mga registrations, insurance. How God sustain us. Na kahit burden ito, and yet, para bagang hindi natin pansin na, 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 na papagod tayo. That is amazing. You know why? Tinuruan tayo ng just to cast our burden or burdens unto Him. And He will sustain us. Paano ba tayo nagkakast ng burden sa Panginoon? Kapag sinabing cast, you, 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 you put the burden to him for him to sustain us by prayer praise the lord y yung prayers natin na ginagawa natin sa lahat ng mga bagay na it seems it is a burden mabigat it is a load that we are carrying on our shoulder Pag ito'y pinipray natin sa Panginoong Diyos, He will sustain us. Hindi natin pansin ang panahon na dumadaan na dumadaan na. But we have so much uh, privileges na hindi nahihinto until now. And even it is increasing. nag increase pa yung ano natin. Uh, benefits, privileges. To God be the glory. Minsan, pag mag-drive ako dyan sa daan at uwian na ng mga tao, nakikita ko yung mga tao waiting for the public utility 
bus or utility jeep. <coughs> I can imagine my life before. Uh, isa ako dyan who are suffering such uh, situation. Sabi ko, grabe yung pagtitiis natin. But to God be the glory. Nilip up ni Jesus yung burden natin. So, God lifting up our burdens. Praise the Lord. Kaya nga sabi dyan, come unto me. You are heavily laden. I will give you rest. Dati we are renting. <coughs> but God lifted up us from renting. Dati we don't have such as big as this sanctuary. But God lifted up our burden from being masikip. Dati we don't have parking area. But God lifted up the problem of having no parking area. Mahirap. So, nakikita natin napakarami ng mga burdens natin which God lifted up. At kung ano man yung mga monthly natin na mga bills, obligations, hindi lang natin pansin. We are able to carry it from time to time, from year to year without wearying, without fainting. Praise the Lord. As if it is just so light na magaan lahat. Yan ang privilege <coughs> na tinuro ng Diyos sa atin. Now, these are material. <coughs> Above all, spiritual. <coughs> Lalot na sa spiritual. Paano natin i-continue yung buhay na banal, buhay na matuwid? Paano natin i-continue ang ninth fruit of the Spirit? Paano natin i-continue resisting all kinds of temptations? Paano natin i-overcome all kinds of trials sa buhay natin? Para baga it seems so difficult for us to have the success for that. But to God be the glory. We are not just counting days, weeks, months, but we are counting years already. Sa pag-serve natin sa ating Panginoong Diyos, how come we were able to continue without wearying, without fainting, Tama lang yung sinabi sa banal na salita ng Diyos. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. <coughs> they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Dahil there is someone that is sustaining us. Anong ginawa natin? Cast all your burden upon Him. Praise the Lord. <coughs> Ngayon, tandaan natin, God is unlimited. God is forever. There is no expiry in His power to help, to sustain, to, to bless, to make us endure unto the end. So, we can use this privilege anytime at all times. Praise the Lord. <coughs> Kumbaga pa, we are so much blessed, no? Mapalad tayo, swerte, ah, swerte hindi, no, swerte. Yung bang bulahan kayo ta, we have a living God that can sustain us. At gagawin natin ito without limit. Even our lifespan is not enough. Kahit ubusin natin yung buong buhay natin, He is more than that. Kaya basahin natin how long and paano natin gawin ang ating pananalig sa Kanya. Psalm 62 verse 8. Praise the Lord. Trust in Him at all times, ye people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. Yes. Trust in Him at all times. There is no expiry. There is no wearying of God. Walang, hindi nangihina ang Diyos. Hindi na uubusan ang Diyos. It doesn't matter how many of us will cast our burdens unto Him. Kahit ilan pa. Kahit ilan pang billions of population at the same time gagawa ng ganun. God can accommodate 
all of them. Unlimited and just. Trust in Him at all times, ye people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. Praise the Lord. <coughs> Kaya anything that you are suffering from, any burden sa buhay mo, ikas natin yan sa Panginoon. He will give us rest. We are not burdened some. Hindi tayo magkakaroon ng kabigatan na wala ng lunas. If God will give you rest from such burden, meaning to say, God will make the solution. Bibigyan niya ng solution ang lahat. Praise the Lord. <coughs> Kaya napakapalad natin. We have God who is faithful and capable and able. Maghintay lang tayo. Marunong lang tayo maghintay. Kasi before, we don't have anything that we have today. But because we waited patiently na fulfill yung kanyang pangako. Kaya, there is no such burden that God will not give us the solution. Basahin natin. Matthew 11:28. Praise the Lord. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You know what kind of rest is this? We are not just talking here temporal matters. Even this flesh sometimes feel uh, exhausted. Yung magtanda na ang tao. Pag ang tao tumatanda na, maybe 90, 100, they are already wish, wishing for rest or death. Yan. Nakita ko yan sa tatay ko eh. When, she, when he reached at the age of 80 above, nagwi-wish na siya. Because sabi niya, anak, pagod na ako. I cannot even do such things which I have done before. Sabi niya, inap na yung buhay ko. I'm happy already. He is wishing. Kaya itong, itong sinabi dito, I will give you rest. This is our spirituality. Praise the Lord. Di na tayo mong problema na mamatay ka pa. Di ka na mong problema na tatanda ka pa. Di ka na mong problema where to dwell. Hindi ka na mong problema monthly bills. Hindi ka na mong problema monthly dues. Hindi ka na mong problema kung ano-ano pa yung mga sufferings na ating nararanasan dito sa mundong ito. God will give us rest as what Jesus said, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. Rest from what? From any obligation sa sanglibutang ito that we are carrying. Bibigyan tayo ng Diyos ng kapahingahan. We don't have any problem, time will come. We don't have any worries, time will come. We don't have any sadness, time will come. We are rested from everything. From being burdened. Kaya ganun, kaya God is unlimited. Kaya dito sa sanglibutang ito, we will experience His goodness. We will experience His good promises. Kaya napaka sarap maging godly. Kaya yung message sa kasal ka kahapon. Maging godly kayo. Kasi complete ang ibibigay ng Diyos sa inyo. Godliness is profitable unto all things. Having promised the life that now is, which is present, and the life that which is to come after we, ha, we are gone here on earth. We have more to receive from God. Complete. We obtain the earthy body and heavenly body. God, both of this, hath prepared for our good. So, wala, wala na tayong hanapin pa. Maging godly. Praise the Lord. We are so blessed. 
Kaya, tayo habang nabubuhay pa tayo sa sanglibutan ito, we should know how to cast our burden upon Him. Ano pa? Sometimes, hindi natin nakikita yung parating. Sometimes, hindi natin nakikita yung mga necessary things to do. But as we pray and pray, those things that hindi natin, hindi tayo aware, bigla na lang dumating sa buhay natin. Pero sa ating kakapray, 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 alam ng Diyos, paano niya tayo i-manage, paano niya tayo i-handle, na yung mga unseen matters sa buhay natin which we do not see or we do not expect. God can keep us God can preserve us. Kaya nga mayroong advice dito, basahin natin. Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Praise the Lord. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Yan. Meaning to say, be careful for nothing. Nothing which you do not know. Nothing which you do not expect. But anumang mangyari sa buhay natin, God can manage us. How? To, to make us overcome. Minsan may mga tao na, oh, hindi ko kasi alam, ganun pala ang nangyari. Kaya kung alam ko lang, hindi sana ako nagkaganito, na napahamak na ganyan. But since God knows what is ahead, and we do not know, as we pray and pray and pray, pag biglang mga bidmarating sa buhay natin, God can make us escape from the possible evil na darating sa buhay natin. Kaya be careful for nothing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, With thanksgiving. Bakit? Di, hindi ko pa natanggap. Pasalamat ka. Yung testimony ni Pastor Alan Nisa. Humingi tayo sa Panginoon. Hindi ko pa natanggap. Nagpasalamat ka. Considering He will grant it. So, Di ba? With thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passes all understanding. Meaning to say, there is nothing that you cannot comprehend nor understand because the peace of God which passes all understanding. Big sabihin niya, wala kang regrets sa buhay. Wala kang temptations sa buhay. Wala. Because of the peace of God that passes all understanding. Understanding is good, but the peace of God go beyond that. Praise the Lord. You have that that the peace of mind. You have that tranquility. Napayapa ka. Everything are controlled by God. No worries. Kumbaga pa. By the grace of God. So, Ano-anong mga bagay na dapat nating i-pray sa Panginoon Diyos? Huwag tayong magkumpiyansa sa maliit. Tinan mo yung Titanic ship. The, the, the so-called uh, first voyage from London. Saan yun sila papunta? May big New York. Ano nangyari? Tinagurian nila yung ship na yon is unsinkable ship. Hindi na, hindi magsink because of the so big, napakalaki, way back 1912 somewhere. Ganun. Tagal na yon 1912 pa. Laki masyado. Kita mo yung X house ng kanyang barko. Parang apat yun na napakataas. Very ano yun luxurious uh, ship. Yung first voyage niya, di sila nag-expect. Yung maliit na icebergs na nakita nila doon, di nila alam ang ilalim noon. 
napakalaki. Hindi nila pinansin yun. Sabi na, kaya ito. We can move that iceberg. Hindi nila alam. Sulid pala yung ilalim. So na slice yung steel plate doon sa gilid. Pumasok yung tubig. Hindi nila alam. Halos grabe na. Party pa rin sila. Sayawan doon, inuman doon, lasingan doon, enjoy doon. Unaware sila. Kaya maraming namatay. Hindi sila nakapaganda. At kulang ang nakahanda doon ng mga boats na in case na malunod, kulang. Hindi nila kinonsider yun kasi ang alam nila unsinkable yun. So sa buhay natin, anong mga bagay na i-commit natin sa Diyos? Huwag tayong magkumpiyansa sa maliliit. Praise the Lord. So anong gawin natin? Para safe tayo. Basa. 1 Peter 5.7 Praise the Lord. Casting all your care upon Him for He careth for you. Yan all. It must be all. Small or great. Little or big. Casting all your care upon Him for He careth for you. He careth for you. Ganon. Kaya yung nagmayabang na masyado nilang, kasi dinawit nila ang Diyos sa tita, Titanic, sa testimony. Ha? Sabi nila, this is unsinkable ship. Even God cannot let this ship sink. <laughs> Nagkalit ang Diyos. Oh, you are speaking uh, something na you are nagbinibilitil nila ang Diyos, minamaliit nila ang Diyos, minamalaki nila yung barko na yan. Walang nagawa. Kaya do not play a fool. O tayo magbiro-biro sa Diyos. He is not, he cannot be mak. Hindi siya maano, hindi siya pwedeng mayaga-yagaan. Tinan mo yung Beatles, sikat na sikat yan. Eh may isang membro ng Beatles, yun pa naman ang pinaka- isa na pinaka-composer nila, si John Lennon. Lumabas man sa bibig niya. Nung nakita nila na they are so popular, lumabas man sa bibig na we are more than popular than Jesus. We are more than popular than God. O, di ba? Patay siya. Hindi pa sana siya mamatay, bata pa. Pero patay. Kaya, huwag magmayabang. In all things, be careful even for nothing. And cast all things unto the Lord, and He will care for you. Praise the Lord. Ganon ang ganon yung privilege na natanggap natin sa ating panghinong Jos, being godly children of God. So wag nating ipagmayabang yung sarili natin. Kaya yung isa sa preaching doon sa kasal kahapon. God is the first anesthesiologist when he calls Adam to deep sleep. Ah, grabe yung ginawa niya kay Adam, deep sleep. Ano yun eh, yung complete anesthesia ang binigay sa kanya, deep sleep, inoperahan siya dito sa ano. So God is the first surgeon. God is the originator of everything. He is the big, the 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 the. Siya lahat nag-originate. Siya lahat ang nag. Siyang author lahat. God is not a copier. Kaya doon tayo magpasalamat lahat sa Dios. Praise the Lord. Siya dapat ang dapat nating i-honor and i-glorify. Okay, worthy na siya ay paglagakan natin ng pananalig. So, huwag natin ilagay ang Diyos sa likod. Let us put always God before us. Basahin natin. Psalm, Psalm 16 verse 8. Praise the Lord. I have set the Lord always before me because He is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Yan. Meron tayong sinasandalan. Meron tayong pinaglalagakan ng pananalig at pag-asa. Lagi natin siyang inilag, inilalagay sa harapan natin. What do you mean of that? 
In all your ways, acknowledge God. And He will direct your path. Hindi ka mamumove because He is at your right hand. Siya yung strength natin. Lahat sa buhay natin. Kaya, hindi ka mamumove ano mang mangyari sa buhay mo. On material side, on the spiritual side, you can never be moved. God is your defense. God is your provider. God is your salvation. God is your success. Lahat-lahat na. Walang anumang bagay sa sanglibutang ito that can move you na makakakilos sa iyo. At saka aside from that, wala nang iba. Siya lang. Basahin natin. Psalm 62 verse 2. Praise the Lord. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Yes. He is he only is my rock and my salvation. Tapos sabihin mo naman, oh, how about these people who got gods which is not the same with our God in the Bible. Well, there is only one creator. There is only one true God. There is only one who came from heaven na magsisave sa atin. He is the only Savior. Wala nang iba. Praise the Lord. He is the only living God na makakaligtas sa atin. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Hindi ka mamumove. From what? From being saved. Hindi ka mamumove. From what? Being on the strongest foundation. Walang makaka-move sa'yo. Walang makakasira sa'yo. Because He is the only rock of your salvation. Wala nang iba. Kaya sa buhay natin, the more we serve God, the more we discover many things from Him. The more we serve God, the more we can see more things for our goodness. Kaya masarap maglingkod sa ating Panginoong Diyos. To God be the glory. Minsan yung nag-pray na yung couple kahapon, tapos the, the Lord's prayer is being rendered. Pinapakinggan ko yung mensahe ng awit. Isa doon nakala, nakasabi na, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Habang nandito tayo sa earth, your will be done. Nung nan, magkarating na tayo sa langit, still your will be done. Meaning to say, we are bound to, to exist here on earth. Nandito na tayo, your will be done. We are bound to heaven as we are faithful unto Him. Still, Lord, your will be done. Praise the Lord. So, kumbaga pa, uh, tanggap na natin, consider na natin yan, magpailalim tayo sa kanyang will. Diyan tayo, ibibless ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Never do as what Lucifer did. Huwag natin gawin yung ginawa ni Lucifer. Hindi siya nagpailalim sa will of God. Kaya, nandito pa tayo sa lupa, Lord, your will be done. If God will bring us into His kingdom, heavenly kingdom, Lord, still your will be done forever. Praise the Lord. Yun sabi ko, salamat po. Ang lakas ng impact ng minsahi, bawat minsahi na binibigay niya sa atin. Ngayon, ano ang require ng Diyos sa atin para patuloy itong privilege na ito? Basahin natin. Psalms 121 verse 3. Praise the Lord. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Yan. Ayaw niya makilos yung ating mga paa. Anong ibig sabihin niyan? Dili niya gusto ang atong mga tiil mabalhin. Mabalhin sa laing dalan. Mabalhin sa laing direksyon. 
No? Yung bang malipat yung ating mga paa to another way, to different way. Para kang train. Alam mo yung train? Train sa English. Train sa Tagalog. Yung dumadaan sa release. Pag na-derail yan, na-move yan sa kanyang release, aksidente yan. Alala niyo yung Cassandra crossing history. Kung yung crossing ng Cassandra, doon nagkaroon ng derail. Ang daming patay noon. Alam niyo yung Japan, uh, hindi naman yung bullet train pa, pero malakas na train yan. Yung, yung operator ba na, na overspeed niya, tumagos yung train doon sa building. Tumalo sa relis. Ayaw nang Diyos mamove ang ating mga paa from His will. Praise the Lord. He will not suffer us to be moved. You know why? He who keep us will never sleep, will never slumber. He can give us a guarantee. He can give us the guarantee of salvation, the guarantee of provision, the guarantee of protection, the guarantee of all good benefits. Hindi siya natutulog, hindi siya napapagod. Kondisyon, huwag tayong mamove sa kanyang kalooban, sa kanyang commandments, sa kanyang righteousness, sa kanyang holiness. Meaning to say, ito yung faith natin sa Diyos na ginagawa natin strong because this is just the only thing that can connect to God. Para yung connectivity natin sa Diyos, hindi mawala. We obtain, lagi nating tanggapin yung guidance, yung instruction, yung admonition. Until such time, anong mangyari? Basta, last verse. 1 Peter 1.5 Praise the Lord. Who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Yan. Praise the Lord. Who are kept by the power of God. Oh, yung bang preserved tayo by the power of God. Sustained tayo by the power of God. How? Through faith. Through our connection with Him. Praise the Lord. Anong patutunguhan ito? Salvation. Pag sinabing salvation, alam mo yung salba. Salba bida. Ano yun eh, yun yung pag malunod yung barko, itapon yung salbabida sa mga lumalangoy to save them. Salvation. Para hindi ka maglangoy doon sa impirno. Doon ka sa kariyan ng Diyos. Para hindi ka na mabubulok. Forever ka na. Yun yung salvation. By faith. Must be kept. Kailangan maingatan ito. Ready to be rebuilt in the last time. Ready kung patay ka man for the first resurrection, ready kung buhay ka man, you will be caught up into heaven. Ready ka na. So, our faith is being kept. Naingatan ito. How? Cast everything unto the Lord. And He will sustain you. He will sustain us all together. Kaya, pasalamat tayo sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Lagi niya tayong sinisecure sa ating kinabukasan hanggang sa walang katapusan. So, glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Thanks to our God. Thanks to our Lord Jesus Christ for all His sustaining grace sa buhay natin. Yung burdens natin, hindi natin dama because alam, nalala niyo yung footprints in the sun. Sabi yung nanaginip, panaginip lang yan eh. Kasabay daw niya si Jesus, yung malakad sa seaside. Nagtaka na lang siya na isa na lang ang footprints na iwan. Taka siya. Yun pala, binulungan siya ng Diyos. My son, I carried you. Dahil Ikarga taka. Ang ako na lang footprints ang maong nakita ninyo. But yours 
wala na because I carried you with my arm. Ganon ang Diyos. Praise the Lord. Hindi niya tayo pababayaan as we cast our burden unto the Lord. He will sustain us. He will never suffer the righteous to be moved. Praise the Lord. Magsitayo po ang lahat.